How do you keep 80,000 vehicles a day moving on a cross-state interstate while replacing six aging and deteriorating bridges and improving two major interchanges? That's the challenge the Missouri Department of Transportation, Emory Sapp and & Sons, and Parsons Transportation Group face with the Columbia I-70 Bridges Design Build Project. The project included replacing bridges on Interstate 70 at Garth Avenue, Range Line Street, and Business Loop 70 West Boulevard in Columbia, Missouri. Improving the interchanges at Range Line Street and Business Loop were also part of the project. Because of the project's complexity, as well as a tight budget, MoDOT officials decided to use a design-build approach to tackle the work. Design-build is a project delivery method that combines both the design and construction phases into one contract and saves time and resources. Competing teams were given the project budget of $17.5 million and were asked what amount of improvement they could provide with a set amount of money. The process was designed to foster innovative and cost-effective ideas for delivering the project, which was critical given the state's long-term insufficient funding for transportation. Really, uh, taxpayers got a great value for this job. The four teams that ended up proposing their solutions for the bridge replacements in this area all had a different take on how to do it. So it left the MoDOT staff with uh, great options to choose the best way to get these bridges replaced minimize the impacts to the traveling public and get the most work we possibly could for the job. I really don't believe we would have got that result by just picking, picking a solution and having the contractors bid it. By allowing the uh, design build teams to take a look at it, give them all the data and pretty well free reign to come up with anything they wanted, uh, we really got the, a great value for taxpayers and a solution that is quite a bit more than what we anticipated we would have uh, received by just doing it conventional bid method. Contractor Emory Sapp & Sons of Columbia and design partner Parsons Transportation Group of St. Louis were selected to design and deliver the project on June 3, 2015. The team was one of four vying for the work. The benefits of design build, uh, there are many. Uh, I would say that the, the best one is the, is the expediency of, from start to finish, of putting, putting a project under contract to completing a project um, is outstanding. It, it brings value to to the project uh, immensely. And Columbia, the Columbia Bridges project is a, is an ideal candidate for that. We started uh, from contract to completion with uh, less than 15 months. It's um, a 17 and a half, 18 million dollar project. So outstanding value for the state. Minimalizing traffic impacts and meeting the project's aggressive timeline were two of the project's main goals. They were also the biggest challenges the team faced. Uh, really, they're just uh, the biggest challenge is really handling traffic through the project and really minimizing that impact to the traveling public. You know, we've talked a lot about I-70, but what we really haven't mentioned is that Business Loop 70, one of the cross streets underneath, which is also a MoDOT route, Business Loop 70, and also Range Line Street, which is a MoDOT route, Route 763, they each carry 25, 27,000 vehicles per day as well. So, you know, really to minimize the impact to the cross street traffic as well as Interstate 70 traffic uh, was the biggest challenge and really compacting all the work into some pretty tight schedules. You know, the contractor was able to meet all the minimums allowed for the number of days that traffic could be impacted, which really, uh, which really put them over the top to win the project and they've done an outstanding job delivering on that with some high quality work and a really short, compact time frame getting a lot of work in a ver done in a very short period of time. So a $17.5 million job started a design in June of 15 and we're opening it up July of 16. And uh, that would probably be the greatest accomplishment. Sliding bridges, dual lane roundabouts, and a dog bone interchange were just some of the components of this fast-paced, innovative project. SAP's proposal called for several of the new bridges to be built next to the existing structures and then slid into place to minimize closures on I-70 and affected city streets. Uh, the biggest accomplishment, I think, would be probably sliding three different structures, you know, within basically a uh, one-month time frame or just over a month time frame. We had three of them ready to go ahead of time, and we had a lot of coordination to get us to that point, and when everything fell into place, it was one right after another, and uh, we had a lot of work that took place basically from the May time period to the, where we're standing today, August 1st time period. 
Construction on the project began in August of 2015 and was essentially completed August 2016, just one year later and two months ahead of schedule. The incredible amount of work taking place in a short amount of time with the least traffic disruptions possible can be seen in this time-lapse video. The Missouri Department of Transportation, Henry Sapp and & Sons, and the Parsons Transportation Group thanks everyone for their patience and support as they work to make I-70 safer and smoother and improve traffic flow at Range Line Street and Business Loop. Parsons did an outstanding job as our engineer. I, I probably said that. Well, I did a great job. But it really, for this to happen, it comes down to employees that actually do the work. Um, end of the day, you know, we can have great ideas, but somebody has to build those ideas. And sometimes, you know, the, the, the people that build them look at us like we're a little crazy. And, and sometimes you get to do a little coaching and convincing that we're not totally off our rockers, but really when it comes down to it, they're the ones that execute the plan. They're the ones that get the job done and the outstanding job because they got it done early. And, and safely, and that's the main thing is, is the safety and, and no, no major accidents or injuries for any of our employees or subs or MoDOT. So at the end of the day, that's a total success in my book.